this Mass, we're not going to be doing the Pentecost Vigil. Uh, the Pentecost Vigil Mass resembles the Easter Vigil, unless you wanted to stay a couple of hours. <laughs> so we're going to do Pentecost Mass during the day. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. That we may celebrate the sacred mysteries we call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. and ever-living God, you willed the Paschal Mystery to be encompassed as a sign in 50 days. Grant that from out of scattered nations, the confusion of many tongues may be gathered together by heavenly grace into one great confession of your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time... Can tell them on page. Oh, okay. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Father suggesting I'll let you know we're on page 175 in your booklets, your missalettes. <laughs> when the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, 
which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, 
and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll now have um, the choir director do a sequence. be with you. A 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst, and he said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning we had a wonderful event here on the property, the uh, St. Bridget School 5K Run. And believe it or not, there are people here at the 4 o'clock Mass that did the 5K Run. And the earliest runners came in, I think they're averaging a six minute mile, which was pretty good. Uh, and I think most people uh, were doing about a 10 minute mile. Uh, so uh, that was a big event for the school. A uh, nice way uh, to close out the school year. We're not just closing out the school year. We graduated uh, grade eight a couple of nights ago. Uh, so they're enjoying their freedom in the Holy Spirit. Um, so, but we're also closing out now the Easter season. That's 50 days, 50 days. And as we come into the season of ordinary time, we're going to switch back to green. But what does the church bid us to think about during this Feast of Pentecost? All of Christ's work his ministry, his passion, death, resurrection, the 50 days that he has walked with us has been geared down towards this moment. That he will not leave us orphans, but that he has given us, the church, the gift of the Holy Spirit to enliven us, to give life to the sacraments, but initiate this messianic reign of peace. Jesus walks, well, I think we're more familiar with the Lucan version of Pentecost. And here we have the Johannine one. Mary Magdalene announced that the Lord is risen. It is true. And she has seen him. But in spite of that, here are the disciples locked behind closed doors. And it's on the Feast of Pentecost that the church is given its commission to go preach the good news to all the earth. That from all the assembled nations and all the assembled tongues, there might be one tongue to give praise to the glory of God and confess that Jesus is Lord. In the old days, we thought that would all be accomplished in Latin. I guess it was, uh, but God's not limited to Latin. He probably did better in it than me. So uh, we come together here tonight, which some people say is the birthday of the church, because here the church goes out fearlessly to proclaim this message and to experience what our Lord has promised the disciples. They'll experience much, much joy in bringing the message, but also rejection. But the world is waiting for the message that sins can be forgiven. That sins can be forgiven. And I think that's the great 
rain, the part of the reign of peace is that people can have a new start, a new chance, that sins are forgiven, and that in this inaugurates this messianic reign of peace in Jesus Christ. Given to us, given to the church, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the life of the Trinity, uh, the church brings forth this message to the world. It reminds us that each of us is missionary. It's a missionary church, but each of us, by virtue of our baptism, participates in that mission. You know, in years past, it's largely been given over to the brothers, the nuns, the sisters, and the priests, and the deacons, but to the laity, too, with Vatican II, there is also so many opportunities to engage in the work of the church. So as we go forward from here, we work uh, according to the Lord's commission uh, to continue to spread that news uh, until he comes again and to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us now stand and profess our faith. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is see at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Tonight there are two collections. The second collection supports the formation and training of seminarians for the Archdiocese of Boston. Anyone like to bring up the gifts? Our offertory hymn is number 586, We Are Many Parts, number 586. our sacrifice that these become gifts acceptable to God the Father the Almighty Amen. 
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you have made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all people the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages on earth in a profession of one faith. Therefore, filled with paschal joy, every land, every people, every nation exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing the unending hymn of your glory. fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and this chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking the body and the blood of Christ that we may be gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Sean our Bishop, and all the clergy and the religious. Remember our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, that we may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but upon the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace be with you all. A sign of peace. 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 Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
put us a couple of reminders. Uh, vacation Bible School registration is now open. I can visit the Facebook page or the website to register. Catholic Appeal is going up little by little. So far, we've raised 42356 towards the goal of 80559 uh, You can scan the QR code or grab one of the envelopes on the usher's table. Please stand for our prayer and solemn dismissal. Let us pray. O oh God, you bestow heavenly gifts upon your church. Safeguard the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all of its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her an abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the masses and it hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our recessional hymn is number 715, Lift High the Cross, number 715.